Hello everyone and welcome here to the Spiritual Night Owl Lounge with me, the Spiritual Night Owl Orange to some Bonnie B. Now today I'm gonna read some spiritual and some energies and I'm gonna start with the sign of Taurus. Taurus. Okay, Taurus, this is general energies. These energies may or may not resonate with you depending on where you are on your path. These are life path readings. These are readings that's going to help you navigate the energies on your path and try to understand some situations in which you might come up against. Okay, so... We're going to get our read in, and we're going to get our energy up, and we're going to be reading for, doing the forecast, rather, for the month of March, and what we can expect for the spring season, okay? That's what this reading is going to be about, forecasting, for the month of March. Get an idea of the energies that we may <laughs> come across during this season on our path and how to navigate them. Now because this is general energy it may or may not resonate with you because it's reading for the general collective of energy. You might find that part of it resonates part of it doesn't. Part of it's your story, part of it isn't. You may find that in some cases the roles may be reversed. That's not me, that's the person I'm dealing with. We just went through that. I didn't do that, he did that. I didn't do that, she did that. Okay? That's role reversal. Now, depending on where you are in your life, you can come up anywhere on this journey. Okay? If there are cross watchers who may be watching, you can come up on this journey. You may find circumstances or situations that fit more with you than with the person who you may be watching for. Okay? So, that's called resonating. If it does not resonate with you, don't claim it. Don't go looking for stuff that ain't yours. That's called claim jumping. We're not doing no claim jumping. Okay. Now, I'm going to do general energies for the collective. I don't know what kind of energies we're going to get. I don't even know how they're going to come out. I just know that we're going to go before the throne of grace and we're going to ask God for the story that you're dealing with. And then we're just going to go from there, okay? We're going to do a freestyle reading so that God can give us any and all information that we need pertaining to the situation that may appear on the board. I am clairvoyant, intuitive, psychic reader. Calling on the powers of the Most High God, the blood of Jesus to cover them, reading and anointed, and I invoke the power of the Holy Ghost to come and cover me during my readings. I ask the readings to be protected by Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Gabriel, Shamuel, Raphael, Zedekiel, Jophiel, Gabriel, Your feel angel, Leo, Muriel. I call all the archangels of protection into the reading and to protect us. And I call my spirit animal the panther to guard my spirit during the vulnerable states in which I have to go into the spiritual realm. I call in the leadership and direction of 
the Holy Ghost, who is the Comforter of God. This is my spirit team. I know that in these readings, these are life path readings, so they are meant to give you some form of direction. They're meant to help you navigate your energies. They'll help to give you, in some cases, some answers and questions that you might have had on your mind. That's the purpose of the reading. I try to give you the energy that's for your highest vibrational good. Although we will take the better with the sweet, there are a few rules in this thing. Major Arcana are the hand of God. God makes the call on major arcanas. Minor arcanas are you. You have the power to change any minor arcana into what you feel you want it to be. Because energy is fluid. And because energy is fluid, it changes from vibration to vibration and from pole to pole. So at this time, we're waiting for the sign of Taurus. In the name of Jesus, the sign of Taurus. Praise God. All information for the sign of Taurus. Taurus. We call you full of Taurus. energy. The sun, sun, moon, rising in all placements and the sun of Taurus. Taurus. All placements in the sun of Taurus. All placements in the sun of Taurus. In the name of Jesus, we call you forth at this time. All placements in the sun of Taurus. All placements in the sun of Taurus. We call you at this time. All placements in the sign of Taurus. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Spirit. Mm. Father God. Last three energies. In the name of Jesus. Last three energies for this raid. In the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Last energy for this read. Overlying energy for this read. Two more energies, please. Two more energies for this read. One, two. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, I have you with an obsessive energy in the King of Cups because you really you want victory in your situation. That's what's going on. And so you are obsessively thinking about it. And there's been some competition because you got a wish. You want a new beginning, Taurus. You want to invest in your Two of Cups relationship after going through a three-party situation. You want your Ten of Pentacles. You're looking forward to new partnerships. As far as this Queen of Wands, she's the one who you've been watching. Because um, she's out in the cold. But you're looking for divine time and that's the Emperor. So that you, you've been working since then because you really do want to make this all for love. And it's giving you nightmares. It shows you Taurus is walking away from things that no longer serve you because your foundation is secure. However, you want to celebrate. You want a celebration of equal give and take. And that's what you want to communicate as the King of Wands to your Queen of Cups. You're ready for bullshit to be over with and you're trying to be strong. Because you know that there are options, but you also know that you've been betrayed through those options. 
so you're a little guarded because you really want to come forth and make an offer of love to the new partnership because that's the one that really makes you happy. You want to manifest. You want to rush in and give truth. Because you want this deeper level commitment. And you've made a decision that you're going to make your pinnacle offer to your nine of pinnacles. After this long and stable wait to get to her, you've had enlightenment about your queen of pinnacles. And therefore, there's going to be an abrupt change with the tower. You want to come forward with truth. New beginning in truth. And you're ready to take action towards your new partnership with the high priestess. You've had spiritual rest. You realize that you've been a little sneaky in your page energy. You want to move forward in the chariot. Because you really want this commitment with your empress. You're at a crossroads. Because you're looking for enlightenment. After turning down what has been offered. You want to move to calmer waters. You've been in your head though. As a king of pentacles. But what you don't know. Is that justice. Is coming. When you take that leap of faith. Because you're defending. Your ground as a queen of swords. And realizing what you have lost. And your king of cups energy. Your little. Obsessive. Or attached. And you want victory. That's what you seek. You seek victory. Show your cards. These are your cards. Your overlying energy. You want victory. Even though there's a little obsession going on here. Capricorn. Or the devil energy of addictions. Because we're rooting for the Taurus. According to what we're looking at right here, Taurus, at this juncture in your reading. At this present juncture in your reading. We have some competition. Okay. In your future energy, now that you want to make an apology or, or a pinnacle to someone who's in the past. It's the King of Swords energy that's been juggling, but it's having a new cycle. They're having a new cycle. And they want their Ten of Cups. That's why they're making this offer. And that's also why they were juggling. The new cycle is for the lover's situation from the past. And you're ready to release those burdens after watching and learning something new. You want to be able to make this love offer and a pinnacle offer to your ten of cups. Because you've been through a lot of shit after juggling. And that's where that competition was coming in at. With that juggling. It's a lot of competition. But for the lovers, you see a new cycle for yourself from someone in the past. Some old energy from the past. You see a new cycle. And you want to make your offer of love there. And that's what I see so far. Father God, in the name of Jesus, can you tell us clearly why is this Ten of Wands here? Ten of Wands is here because of judgment pertaining to some options and your investments on your nine of pentacles. 
and the fact that you want to take some action and so you've been putting in some work In the name of Jesus, why is the King of Swords here? King of Swords, why is he here in the name of Jesus? King of Swords is here because of the Empress. Now as we ran through the spell, we know that the King, the Empress, <laughs> wants a new beginning. The Emperor wants a new beginning with the Empress. That's why the King of Swords is here. Because the Emperor wants a new beginning with his Empress. And when you understand that the Emperor entails all the energies of the Kings and the Empress embodies all the energies of all four queens. This is a divine couple that's clarified through the King of Swords. So, this is about a divine union coming together. Ten of Cups, this cycle. Okay? And that's what I see. That's exactly what I see. Just from that, I know it's a divine union. Just from that clarity on the King of Swords. Let's get some clarity on the, the, the juggling. In the name of Jesus. Can we get clarity on the juggling? Father God, in the name of Jesus. They've been juggling because they want victory. Six of Wands again. And they want equal give and take. Father God, in the name of Jesus, why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? The lovers is here. Six of Cups again. Only this time, we got juggling in reverse. No more juggling. Okay? So, Taurus, you ready? You ready? And you got six of cups here twice. No more juggling. Juggling in reverse. That's the clarity on the lovers. So, yeah, like I said, this is a divine union getting ready to come into fruition. That's what this is. It's a divine union getting ready to come into the fruition in the future. That's what this is. So, and on the bottom of the deck, got options and a wish. Pull us a couple of romance angels here and see if we can get us a little romance angel information and see what else we can find out about this hell. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we come before the throne of grace to ask for the romance angel or the cards for the sign of Taurus. In the name of Jesus, the romance angel oracle card for the sign of Taurus for the month of March. In the name of Jesus, sign of Taurus, month of March. 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 Thank you, Holy 
Holy Spirit. Sign of charge, you've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This is your soulmate. That's why we got this divine union card. Calling in your soulmate. It's coming. That's two soulmate cards. This is definitely your soulmate. And you're going on a retreat. Just the two of you. There's some deception going on. Somebody's not being truthful about their feelings. And a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, see here. Two more cards. We got honeymoon. Enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You've got flirt and you've got chemistry. One more last card from the divine angel. Sign of Taurus. One more energy. Card. Last card says reconciliations. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, Taurus. That's what I got for you, baby. The bottom of the deck. Codependency. So you be careful out there, Taurus. And that's your reading for the month of March here at the Spiritual Night Out Lounge. Be blessed, my beloved. If you need any other information or this resonates with you and you want to get in touch with me, information's in the link below. But if this is where we part ways, I'll see you for the next spiritual read here at the Spiritual Night Out Lounge. Be blessed, my beloved. Bye-bye.